Hi students, I'm Teacher Lee and welcome to English class. Africa is a land blessed to have preserved its rich and vibrant culture present in their art and most especially their literature. Literature is a means for a group of people to share the story of their origins, existence, and even their hopes and aspirations. Powerful and deeply moving, African literature chronicles the life and struggles of the continent's inhabitants. Given Africa's role in shaping human history and civilization as we know it today, studying its literature is surely a wonderful and meaningful journey to take as it also relates, in a parallel sense, to our own hardships and victories as Filipinas. Today, we're going to discover the rich culture of Africa through the history of its literature. Africans have rich oral literature. Like in other ancient cultures, African orature is created and transmitted orally as part of dance and music. African oral arts genres include proverbs, riddles, epics, oration, personal testimony, praise poetry, songs, chants and rituals, legends, and folk tales. All these have religious, artistic, and social functions. Let's take a look at the following influential African writers that greatly contributed to African literature. Olive Schreiner Olive Schreiner was a South African author, anti-war campaigner who is best remembered today for her novel, The Story of an African Farm, written in 1883, which follows the lives of three characters who lived in a farm in the Karoo region of South Africa. Her great contribution is pioneering literary works about race and gender. Samuel Edward Mackay Mackayi was a teacher and a journalist who published numerous books written in Xhosa language. Xhosa is the Muni Bantu language, which is one of the official languages in South Africa and Zimbabwe. William Du Bois He was an influential African-American writer who wrote extensively and was the best-known spokesperson for African-American rights. His famous work, The Souls of Black Folk, talked about the rights of black Africans to vote, to have a good education, and to be treated with equality and justice. Kamarale Kamarale was an African writer of Guinea who wrote an autobiographical novel, The Dark Child, by which Kamara Lay documented his childhood life detailing the close relationships he had with his family and the love he received from his local community. Chinua Achebe Chinua Achebe was a Nigerian writer who wrote the novel Things Fall Apart. This novel discusses the pre-colonial life in the southeastern part of Nigeria and the arrival of Europeans during the late 19th century. Tinua Achebe also explained Western values as threats to African traditions. Franz Fanon Fanon was a writer who examined racism and the evils of colonialism during the World War II. He wrote, Black Skin, White Masks, which talks about the deep effects of racism and colonialism on the experiences, lives, relationships, and minds of black people. Kofi Awunor Awunor was a Ghanaian poet whose works combined the poetic traditions of his African ethnic group and contemporary and religious symbolism to depict Africa during the colonization. This gave rise to publishing African Orator. His works are This Earth My Brother and Night of My Blood. Flora Nwapa Nwapa was a Nigerian author who has been called as the mother of the modern African literature. 
She made a history in African literature by exposing the life of African females. She wrote the book Efuru. This book is about Efuru, an Igbo woman who lives in a small village in colonial West Africa. Soyinka is best known as a playwright who received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1986. He wrote the novel The Interpreters, which talks about the attempt to solve the moral sickness that plagues Nigerian society. Nelson Rolilala Mandela Nelson Mandela was the former president of South Africa. He is an anti-apartheid political leader who fought for black people. Apartheid was a political and social system in South Africa. Under this system, the people of South Africa were divided by their race and the different races were forced to live separately from each other. This system enforced racial discrimination against black people, mainly focused on skin color and facial features. Later in 1993, he won the Nobel Peace Prize for his leadership towards a democratic South Africa. African literature is a body of literature of or from Africa, including oral and written literature. African oral literature, called orature, are in the form of prose, verse, and proverb. In Africa, they say that proverbs are the palm oil in which words are eaten. Palm oil is an essential ingredient in African food and is used and given as presents on special occasions. Referring to proverbs as palm oil means words for them also sustain life, just like food does. Proverbs are essential to the community. They are used and given in conversation to maintain good relationships. This proverb implies the value that Africans put in good conversation. African literature is essential because it offers an opportunity to hear the voices of African people. It also increases our social consciousness and raises awareness of social, political, and economic crisis that African continent is facing. That concludes our lesson for today. This has been Teacher Lay for ClickGen.